So, I wanted to make a video. I know this is rare to make rant videos. And it's like 3 in the morning, so I'm sorry if I sound very quiet or I sound extremely tired. But, um, this is a recent topic about a certain person that I have ranted about for a while. And I have videos against this person and documents of this person. And so does everybody else. Um, so, as you all know... Me and my father have dealt with this person for eight years. And recently, since the beginning of January, I encountered them again. And they thought my story was about them. So I went off publicly on my story saying, if you want everything to be about you, it's gonna, I'm going to mention it about you since now you want to think it's about you and I mentioned before New Year's that if something has t to be announced about you I'm gonna put your name in bold print because I'm just tired of, I'm not gonna sugarcoat anything and I'm tired of the shit so if I do expose you your name will be on bold print plain and simple but I was talking about a whole different person that I've known in real life. And they've admitted that they have stalked me because of, quote, fear. But the main reason is, is that they are obsessed. They've been stalking me in person and on social media. So... After the beginning of January, I decided to take a long break from social media. This is my third week. I haven't really posted anything new on social media besides updates and maybe a few things here and there. But I haven't really been socializing because, not because of this person, but because I am taking my life seriously. So, I have only been mainly on Discord. But, um... Recently, a couple of days ago, at 5 in the morning, of course, um, I mentioned I was going to edit my blacklist because there's new people that got added in and the same people that have been on my blacklist since July 2021. I have a date of when I created it and it will modify me when I edit it. I've had... Mew, known as Cannibal Bunny, on my blacklist for a hot while, for almost a year. So because I've put my blacklist on my card, because I, you know, refreshed my link so people can find me or talk to me when it comes to commissions or anything, and where they can find me or message me, etc. So I added my blacklist in there so people know who are blacklisted and so forth. Mew has been on my blacklist, again, for not even a year yet. So, like, a good five, six months, if that. So, because... And I even listed why they were blacklisted. And they've been blacklisted, again, since this moment of last year, of 2021. They were blacklisted for manipulating, gaslighting, lying, stalking, harassment death threats, and suicide bait. So because of that, they've stalked my blacklist and made a whole scene on their Twitter. And then they harassed me till I apologized. So my father went off and told him to fuck off because it seems like whenever I move on and I just mind my own business, they want to be the center of attention and go after me. They even made a video of our conversation in 2020 of situations I went through with certain people that were involved in it. And the thing is, I've told them before 2021 started and we, I myself apologize. I even have videos still of when I apologize to Mew publicly. 
tw at least twice. And then I have another video where I apologize to um, John and Ghost. I will link those there because I have apologized more than once. So the fact that they were harassing me to apologize to them sincerely after I have apologized numerous times, whether it was on a video, whether it was in a call, whether it was in text messages, my kindness was thrown out the window and abused by its power. So because I am tired of the bullshit, I specifically, which I will admit, I specifically did the things that they done to me. But I never death threatened them. I never did anything. Because when they were also falsely accusing my friend Melina to threat death threatening them when I know Melina. Melina has bad English because that is not her first language. And I've even DM'd, which Mew hasn't shown full DMs of. I've shown proof of someone admitting that it wasn't Melina. It was a guy named Thomas. And he specifically told me and Melina when we first knew who he was because we wanted to know what was going why he would he was doing it. He said in his in his exact words, he said the only reason he was going after Mew was because he doesn't like her. And he's seen the bullshit for years. So he's basically giving her the karma that she deserves in his eyes and he said if she can death threat everybody else and hurt everyone and make everyone suffer what's the difference if it comes back to her or to them that but i'm just saying that's his words he did not use their pronouns he used their old pronouns but anyway that's that was his, his, his oh sorry it's cold it's like negative below like five so like i'm freezing so i'm sorry if i started but um those were his specific words. And Mew recently as well has tried to publicly say that I'm the reason they wanted to kill themselves. I'm the reason that they lost so much blood from self harm. When, mind you, the many times I've tried to help Mew, we all got pushed away. We, we literally all got pushed away. We're not going to help someone who doesn't want to receive it so if we don't help you and then you try to get the attention to get the help you need after you've pushed us so many times and we don't help you you shouldn't be complaining because you avoided our, our kindness and our help and like my father has stated you cannot fix stupid people you cannot fix stupid people and you cannot fix people who are not only mentally psychotic but obsessed and just problematic my father has been there through the bullshit and has witnessed it he himself has had messages from their mother messaging him three years ago saying it was my fault and after my dad showed the proof there was no, there was nothing done and i was still getting blamed for the shit they were doing and my father has witnessed that I have tried to literally end my life because of this person. When I was hospitalized last year, which would be almost a year ago of April, they were joking about me being a sack ward. And then they were trying to tell me that I shouldn't have, I don't have a manic episode when I have three people specifically yell at her in a call saying I do. And, I, and they experienced it and what, like, I've went through it. Hence why I was in a psych ward and on suicide watch. Anyways, they joked about me being in the mental hospital. They have wished for my attempts to be successful. They have done death art of people. They have stolen and redesigned people's personas as a sort of revenge because they do not like them and they've done that to me when I was with my old relationship with someone back in like 2016 and they have done it in 2019 so this wouldn't surprise me if they were to do it again to the point I don't even give a fuck because 
guilty people speak the loudest. Sorry, my hand and my everything. I'm shaking because it's cold. It's not that I'm nervous. It's really fucking cold. So I do apologize. But um, they even have forced my friends to add me back to a group chat that I have because I left because again they forced me to show proof of me being autistic and because I didn't show proof they were trying to tell me I was lying to the point that my father got involved saying first of all it is illegal to ask for my daughter's proof and everything that she was diagnosed with autism and ADD and everything else and knowing me, they will use it against me and try to say it wasn't mine or anything. And also, I was not going to show them my personal stuff because that's also none of their business. And again, against the law. And not only that, again, with the video they posted, they made a video of our conversation two years ago. With me and other people. And which, again, I apologize for. And like my sister stated, if you break a plate and you apologize to it, doesn't mean it's gonna be, does doesn't mean it's fixed. No, you broke it. Whether you apologize for breaking it or not, you still did it. You you still did it. So when Mew has told me and other people to choke on glass, which is not only mental abuse, but it's a death threat, and it's another way of telling someone to kill themselves has told me and other people to basically do that, just because you apologized for it, you still death threatened people. You still harassed people. And the fact that you're getting a wake up call and you're getting the karma you deserve, honestly, it's well deserved because you state so many times you're gonna change and then like three weeks, not even a month later, you act up again. This is mental behavior. Not only that, this is a mentality in the brain. And as I stated in my older videos, I'm pretty sure I stated that I have a great, I did have a grandmother, but she died from OD. She had the mentality to manipulate and gaslight people. And she specifically at a young age for me has manipulated and gaslighted me and done a lot of abusive shit behind closed doors, which my parents know about. But I'm just saying the only reason I called Mew my grandmother was because they share the same mentality in the brain and the shit they do. It's just Mew is like at least five times worse than what my grandmother was. Like my grandmother was a horrible person, but she didn't really go this far that this person is doing. And the thing is, they also have the same mentality that Lumi has. So, the fact that this person's being basically a Lumi 0.2, or basically a second clone version of Lumi, is kind of fucking bizarre. And the thing is, when they get called out, they will change their persona and everything. Mind you, I even ranted to my father about this, and he's even called it bullshit. And I even have document proofs of this, too. They specifically lie saying I sexualized cultures and my ancestors' cultures. First of all, I've been looking and focusing on Nordic mythology and its culture since I was a child. Since I've learned it in elementary school. And basically throughout my life. And especially for my father. I've been into the Nordic environment for a long while now. And the fact that they have lied saying I've sexualized Native Americans is kind of fucking funny. Because I've never drew my persona naked in a headdress. Because I have an old drawing I did back in 2016 have a redraw that I did in like 2018 and then another redraw in 2020. Both of those drawings are at least two years apart and none of them were naked. 
So, that's kind of funny that you lied about that. And you also lied about me sexualizing cultures because last I remember, Mew has stated that they are a Lalita, or however you pronounce it. And they have also shown so much proof on their profile they do sexualize DDLG. When, mind you, DDLG, from someone I follow, has stated that DDLG is actually more of a safe place or safe environment space. So, yeah, I think soft space, then not safe for work. And the fact that the one time Mew has told me that they buy children's clothes for her size, for their size. Sorry about that, something happened. But, um, anyways, Mew has stated that they get children's clothes once in a while for their size. And the thing is, Mew has shown proof that they do dress up like a child. Even in art, in a sexual way. Which was years ago, but that's not the point. This is about recent right now. Anyways. Mew has recently suicide baited, manipulated, guilt tripped, and hurt a lot of people. And has made a lot of people suffer. I've been suffering from them. And, um... Others have too. I don't want to mention their name because they don't like me, so I don't want to do it. If they don't like me, out of respect. So, I'm not going to do it. Sorry about that, I had to get something. But, um, there's a lot of victims who have been hurt by this person. And most of us have been dealing with it for two years, three years. I have stated in my older videos, I've been dealing with this for like eight years. Other people have been dealing it with six years. But Mew has tweeted and admitted to stalking me. I saved that in a document of where she said it. I mean, where they said it. Force a habit. Um, but a lot of... And Mew has specifically stated that if they lose another friend, they were going to kill themselves. Which is beyond bizarre because that is part of growing up. You're going to lose friends... Friend, you your friends don't stick with you for a long time. They do, but at the same time, they don't. You can have friends from your childhood, and they will automatically leave you in, like, high school or middle school or, like, throughout your adulthood. It is part of life. And that is normal. I've lost a couple of friends on and off here and out. You don't see me going out saying, saying I'm going to kill myself for that. Because when one friend goes, that is now my ex-friend, a new one comes in. It's, it's part of adulthood. I don't know why you think that being suicidal or harming yourself or trauma is a personal trait because it's not. It's not cute, it's not sexy, it's not funny. So you can kindly stop doing that. Because not only does it trigger the fuck out of me, because I went through that shit, I don't use that as a personal trait. I take it seriously as a mental illness and try to cope with it. I go to therapy every week to cope with it, to find mechanisms for it, coping mechanisms for it, and talk it out. Then bottle it and hurt myself from it. Or not even hurt myself, but like explode. Because 
the more I bottle it up, the more I will specifically explode. But, um, you may, this person has made many excuses that the reason they can't get help is because apparently in their home area, in, I don't know, what is it, Alabama, apparently if you go to a psych ward, they treat you like a crazy person, which... That's their job. If you're a crazy person, they're going to see you and treat you like a crazy person. They will help you, but if you don't take the medication or receive the help and you say this shit that you say online, yeah, they're going to take you as a crazy person. I've, when I was, my experience in a psych ward for almost two weeks, I had a man stare at me and try touching me. And he was psychotic. And a lot of the doctors and nurses held him away from me because I was getting uncomfortable. This man even went in my room that I shared with with another girl that I shared with. And I was getting dressed because, you know, I was putting on only new pants because it was getting hot in there. So I put on shorts. He almost opened my door to get in. And they had to take him out. Good thing I did not change yet when he tried to. And he was put in a separate room. And he went ape shit. So yeah, doctors and nurses will treat a crazy person as what they are. They're not going to sit there and have a crazy person come to a psych ward or stay in a psych ward for God knows how long. And treat them like, oh... You're a psychotic. Let me treat you like a normal person and let you go free. No. That's not how it works. As much as I didn't want to go in there, I had no choice because, again, suicide watch and a manic episode. And I needed the help. So I stayed there for the help and did what I was told. Even though I didn't like it, I still did it. Just so it helps me faster and get out faster to get to therapy. So I don't want to hear these excuses that you can't go because of these things. Because that's everywhere. And since you do all this stuff, like a crazy person you are, they're going to take you as a crazy person. So nobody wants to hear that you're, you can't do this stuff because you don't want to. And you going around saying, oh, thanks for saying this stuff. This makes me not want to call for help. When do you call for help? Because last time when two people called the cops on you, you lied to the cops saying you didn't do anything to yourself. Went to the hospital and they asked if you wanted to go to a mental hospital because for a couple days to a week, you denied it. Because... Oh, just because I wasn't I wasn't at the moment to really off myself. So I'm fine to go home. So that just shows that you did that because someone said they didn't like you. You did that for attention. If someone did what you did and someone said said you're going to go to an as- an asylum or a psych ward or a regular mental hospital and you said that they're gonna th- and if you were to come back a couple times they're gonna think that you're just doing it for attention which is specifically what you did hence why none of us are taking you seriously and that's why none of us want to help you and this is why we stopped helping you because this is what you do you take it as a personal trait and that is not healthy it's it's really not but you do you But this is the karma you are receiving. And this ain't the first time that karma like this has striked you. This happened when I made rant videos against this person. And they left, they left the media for like almost two years. Came back and just did this shit again. This person has even messaged my father and called my father 
trying to say I put a 14 year old in the mental in a hospital for offing themselves when there's proof that Mew cannibal bunny harassed this 14 year old and the 14 year old had to call the cops and went to the hospital because of a panic attack but yet Mew's number came up on my father's phone and they were pretending to be someone's mother and say I did it this person is mentally unstable putting their family and life in danger and not only that they have lied so I came so my parents thought I was crazy and not only that to get rid of me because I called them out when my parents flipped out thinking it was me, I showed proof. And then they realized it was it was them. Not only that, they even made a hate account on me and posted the shit that my ex Kiana said to me that was abusive in the relationship. He and as I stated in my old video, he has sexualized or romanticized self harm and depression and everything just like they are doing so this is what we deal with when someone's like this they have a t they their mentality in their brain is very awful the things they say and do is awful these are the things that again a psychotic person would do even my dad has stated that this is something a psychotic person would do and say. Because what person will harass someone till they apologize for something they've done? Because last I checked, I've...